history. Okay. Well, it just basically started out with just, uh, just the body, this front half, the back half, no doors, no trunk lid, no back panel. On a junk frame, that grill shell, and the rear differential, and that's about it. So Is that a bottle of whiskey down there? Well, it's uh, I wonder what vodka. they. It's oh gosh. Twenty twenties vodka. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And, so uh, as a small block. Small block three hundred two with an AOD. That's what I'm running three hundred two. Yeah. yeah. They're quick. Oh yeah. It's uh, nice having the overdrive and just kind of was going for a '60s theme and uh, with a rat rod twist. So, that's what we built. Looks like it's easy to get in and out. It's not bad. Um, once you're in, it's pretty comfortable. But uh, it's been a lot of places. It's been to Salina. It's been to, uh, uh, not Jefferson, Springfield. Been to Springfield, Missouri for a show. Been to, uh, up, up in Missouri, up north, I forget the name of the town. And it's been to Salina a number of years. But uh, it's pretty bulletproof. I drive it just about everywhere. And, uh, not real good in the rain, obviously, with no fenders and no hood. Right, right, right. But uh, a lot of fun. But uh, yeah, just it's got Ford parts, Chevy parts, Dodge parts, it's got Packard parts. Uh, well, as a matter of fact, the doors are 26 Dodge, not uh, not Ford. Uh, and somebody tell me that they wouldn't fit, but because of the fact that Briggs makes the body for Ford and for Dodge. They got a design in here between the two. But it's a lot of fun. Well, thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. No problem. Good to meet you.